In this video we're looking at creating a shape in Adobe Photoshop that has an outline around it but no fill. Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. To create our rectangular shape we're going up here to use the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to drag out my rectangle. I can now right click and choose stroke or I can go up here to the edit menu and choose stroke. The colour here is the same colour that you have selected as the foreground colour over here. You can click on it to change it to some other colour. If you have colours in the swatches panel, you can open up the swatches panel, click here on colour and then choose a colour from the swatches panel. I'm going to put my stroke on the inside. The reason for this is that then I'm going to get nice crisp corners. If I choose centre or outside, that's not going to be the case. I'm going to choose a width for my stroke. I'm going to use 20 pixels. I'll click OK. You can see how the corners are nice and sharp. If that's too thick or too thin, I'm going to press Control or Command Z. Go back to that same stroke panel with Edit Stroke or right click and choose Stroke. I'm going to change the width but this time let's see how it looks like on the outside. I'm just going to click OK and you can see the corners are slightly rounded. When you're finished with this you'll see that you have a selection in place so you're going to select and then deselect to turn it off. In the layers panel you'll see that the shape itself has gone on to the background layer. If you don't want this to be the case this is what you'll do. Let's just undo what I've done so far. I'm going to add a new layer to the document, it's empty. Go back and create my rectangle, right click and go to the stroke panel. Choose my colour, set the width to whatever I want it to be. I'm going for inside, I'll click OK. Now you can see it, that the outline for this shape is on a layer that is not the background layer. Select and then deselect to deselect my selection. And you can repeat the same process, for example, with a circle. Click the elliptical marquee tool and hold the shift key to draw out a circle. I want this on a new layer, so I'll add my new layer. I'll right click, choose stroke, click color, select the color I want to use this time from the swatches panel. I'm going to leave my width at 20. I'm going to put this on the outside because it doesn't matter because it's a circle, it doesn't have corners anyway, and click OK. Then I'll choose select and deselect to deselect my selection. These objects are on separate layers which means I can turn them on or off but easily also move them should I wish to do so. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.